This acro conditioning sequence will build strength, stamina and mobility for both the base and the flyer across the multi-directional movement planes in preparation for partner acro. It is a combination of Acro Yoga International elements, of which I'm a teacher, Qigong, and Yoga. Body tapping to increase circulation begins our warm-up. Make a right hand fist, take the feet hip distance apart, and start tapping from the shoulder, down the outer arm, up the inner arm, across the chest, down the outer leg, up the inner leg, Come to the chest, beat, sound effects optional, and then change hands, this time taking the right onto the shoulder, down the outside of the arm, up the inside, across the chest, down the outside of the opposite leg, up the inside, and onto the hip flexors, the thighs. Now both fists around the buttocks, the lower back, not too much pressure. This is energizing the body, increasing the circulation, a qigong movement to awaken the body at the beginning of the practice, coming around to the neck and lightly tapping up onto the head, side of the head, the crown of the head the front of the head, side of the face, and then one sweep all the way down to the feet. Spinal twist warm up. 10 Qigong hip twists, 10 shoulder twists, 3 Qigong hip twists. Feet wider than hips, turning toward one opening foot, swaying arms either side of hips. Continue to move from side to side for 10 rounds. Soften the belly, find a natural flow with the movement before coming to a stop. Arms come up to shoulder height, twist from the lower spine and follow the fingertips with your gaze, 10 reps. Working stability in the lower body, mobility in the upper body. Twists move us in the transverse plane that we use for barrel rolls and ninja star. Segue back down to hip twists for three reps and come to stop. Hollow body drill. Hollow body is the medicine for arch to find straight. Draw ribs back and down. Extend arms up over the shoulders. Keep reaching through the fingertips. Hands come down by the sides. Find hollow. Ribs come back and down. Extend the hands up above the head. Fingertips reach. Feet press down, hands come back down by the side. Complete three more rounds. Perfect way to prepare the body for a handstand while the feet are on the ground. Press down through the feet to lift up through the hands, finding tightness throughout the body. Finish with an out breath. bringing the right hand onto the chest and the left hand onto the belly. Shoulder rotations, 10 forward and back each side. By increasing our range of movement in the shoulders, we support alignment in our handstands. Feet hip width apart, shoulders stacked over hips, find hollow, circle one arm behind 10 times, change direction, Circle forward 10 times. Maintain alignment throughout the body. Change sides. Stack the body. Circle the other side 10 times backward and change direction, circling 10 times forward. Come back to neutral. Adding toe lifts and contralateral movements, enhancing balance, full body integration, and lower body strength. Feet together, shifting weight from the heels into the toes and back. 
Find a point on the ground to focus your gaze and hold your balance. Find hollow and extend the hands up above the shoulders. Squeeze. Circle the right arm forward, left arm back, lower the heels. Lift heels, circle left arm from the back, right arm from the front. And continue in this way, lowering the heels, lowering the hands, lifting the hands, lifting the heels. And change direction. Find a place on the ground to hold your gaze and hold your balance. Fabulous for coordination and focus. Side bends. Find hollow. Press into left foot as you arch left arm overhead in line with body. Reverse back to vertical and over to the other side. And repeat. Option to look up under the armpit. Side bends move us in the coronal plane that supports our side star and cartwheels. One-legged balances for asymmetrical balance. Shift weight into right side, hips level, raise left leg three times and hold for three. Knee to the chest, shoot leg back behind you and hold for three. Keep hips level to the ground. Foot back up under hip, take out to the side, take 10 toe taps to the ground, gaze holding the balance. Redistribute weight between both feet, shift weight into left, repeat on the other side. Lift leg three times and hold for three. Knee to the chest, shoot that foot back, maintain level hips. Gaze holds the balance, point the back toes before foot comes under the hip and to the side. Ten toe taps out to the right side. Moving again through the coronal plane. Time to shake it out with me. Five, four, three, two. One five four three two one five four three two one five four three two one 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 two one two one two one two one 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 you shake it all out shake your whole body In time for burpees, our cardiovascular warm up. Standing at the top of your mat and straight, clap one, fold forward two, step back to plank three, hips to heels four, jump in between the hands five, clap six, and again one, two, fold forward, three, step or jump to plank, four, hips to heels. Six, jump between the hands, seven, clap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jogging on the spot this time for one, two, three, fold forward, step back into plank, hips to heels, and jump. And jogging for one, two, three, fold forward, step to plank, hips to heels, jump between the hands, jogging for one, two, three, fold forward, jump or step to plank, hips to heels, jump between the hands, jogging for one, 
two, three, fold, plank, hips to heels, jump, clap. Good job. Down dog push up sequence, five reps, hands on the ground. Come into downward facing dog. Step one foot forward. Hands shoulder width apart, bend the elbows out and track spine in a diagonal axis, down and up, five times. Next progression, five reps of pressing hands off the ground. Press the ground away and the torso in a straight diagonal track. Two, five reps, three, four, five. Next progression, one leg lifted, five reps each side, hands on the ground or pressing off. Extend one leg up, keep hips level and move slowly. Start with micro bends in the arms to establish stability. Second side, optional pressing hands off the ground. Bending grounded legs supports greater stability. Push-ups and shoulder taps. Five push-ups, 10 shoulder taps, child's pose, repeat three times. Push-ups on or off the knees, line up shoulders, hips and knees, elbows in for triceps, out for chest. Completing five, reach hips back to heels in child's pose for two breaths. Reaching back forward, stacking wrists under shoulders and tapping opposite shoulders 10 times. Reaching back into child's pose. Training L basing strength for our base. Another five push ups, elbows out or in, body moves as one piece in one smooth motion. Reach back into child's pose for two breaths. Inhale, lifting up. Come back into your position for shoulder taps, keeping the whole body except the arms stable and motionless. Reaching back to child's pose. Push-ups train arm and back power for our flat. Option for your last set, off your knees. Finding plank, wrists under shoulders, Make a line from the shoulders, hips to the knees, elbows out or in, five reps. Stay stable, sturdy and strong. Reach back into child's pose, two breaths. Find plank and shoulder taps. Arms move. Rest of the body stays still. Child's pose. Core, hollow body rocks and tuck ups. 10 hollow body rocks, 10 tuck ups, two sets. Lift arms overhead and legs off the ground. Squeeze the whole body and rock between the sacrum and the shoulder blades for 10 reps. Squeeze and rock and squeeze and rock and squeeze and rock. Tuck ups. Lift arms and legs off the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Draw knees in and shoot chest and hands forward. Then reverse with tension. Repeat 10 times. Building explosive energy for dynamic acrobatics. Repeat another 10 reps of hollow body rocks, building full body integration, training the body to hold its shape. Repeat another 10 tuck ups, 
building core power and training a smooth transition from straight into tuck and back. Leg lifts 10 to the front, 10 to the sides with an easy twist to follow. Hands lay by the sides, palms facing down, hollow. Lift legs to 90, hold, then control down to just above the ground. Repeat 10 times. Front lifts work the transverse and rectus abdominis at the front. Hold at 90, take legs to the side, turning the head opposite direction. Reverse legs back to 90 with the head. Other side, repeat 10 times. Side lifts are working the obliques that wrap around and connect to the lower back. Core connects the upper and lower body. Any core work will support coordination and stability between these parts. Front lifts support pike transitions, side lifts support straddle transitions. Easy twist, bend one knee, straighten the other leg and hook the bent leg over the straight leg and turn the head in the opposite direction. Sink the shoulder of the bent leg side into the ground and relax. Change sides. Easy twists neutralize the spine as well as massaging the digestive organs. Easy twists support movement in the transverse plane by increasing mobility. To exit, bring the knees together and tuck at the chest. Turtle spinal roll. Five reps to squat, five to forward fold and five to standing massaging the spine and cultivating dynamic action. Lying down tuck, hands at the front of knees, roll back, lift hips, roll forward to squat, repeat five times. Use the momentum, tight tuck and shoulders moving forward to carry you into squat. Five reps to forward fold, same action, straighten legs in squat, to forward fold. Either plant hands or come onto fingers. Straight legs or bend legs. Five reps through forward fold into standing. Same action, lift chest up to straight and repeat. Enhancing spine and leg mobility while supporting dynamic transitions. Camel, training spinal extension to support back bird, walkovers and bow. Stand on knees, hip width apart. Roll thighs in to reduce compressing sacroiliac joint at the lower back. Hips move forward, shoulders move back. Drop one hand onto the heel, extend the other arm up into the air. Level off shoulders. Find a calm, steady breath. Hips keep moving forward. Thighs roll in. Exit. Bring lifted arm down. Push hips forward. Change sides. Opposite side. Take heel with hand. Roll thighs in. Hips forward. Extend the arm up. Move chin in to chest. Couple of calm breaths here. Option to move into the full camel progression. Bringing the top hand down to the heel. Continue to draw forward, opening up the front body, strengthening the back body. Maybe take the head back, checking that it doesn't compromise the cervical spine. Here you can see our back bird, our bow, 
reversing the movement to exit, drawing the hips forward and releasing the hands. Coming into child's pose. Moving into flexion of the spine to balance, extension. Inversions, starting with crow. Training balance, arm and back strength, and handstand prep. Start in squat. Plant hands shoulder width apart. Lock the upper outer arm to the inside of the knee. Lift the hips. Find tippy toes. Shift weight forward to balance. Take off one foot at a time. Stay here or move into the full balance. Transition to tripod headstand, tuck chin, slowly lower onto the crown of the head, squeeze elbows in and bring knees into tuck, and then straight. Keep pressing into hands, squeezing elbows in to recruit shoulder power. Optional leg variations, straddle into pike, Funky stags, go crazy. Test your balance, drawing elbows in, recruiting shoulder stability, and working your range of movement in the lower body. Great core workout, along with full body having to integrate, coordinate, and work together to stay balanced when it's moving. Great prep for handstand and forearm leg variations. To exit, find pike straddle, slowly bring knees to back of the outside upper arm, shift weight out of head, drop hips, find crow. Crow to crocodile, neck in line with spine, push through hands, shoot legs back, into crocodile. Upward dog and child's pose. Jumping jack, straddle pike, handstand prep. Straddle feet, pike at hips, plant hands under shoulders, shift weight into hands, come onto tippy toes, jump to pike. And reverse the movement, bend the knees and jump to straddle pike. And take a few reps of these. Bending the knees, jumping up, hips over shoulders, and then landing. Option now to lift the legs a little higher by moving into straight handstand and exiting through pipe. Bend knees, jump. Bring hips over shoulders, squeezing legs together in straight and lowering all the way down through pike. Jumping jack progression into tuck, exit straddle. Bunny hop hips over shoulders in tuck, into straddle. Hold balance, exit through straddle. Jumping jack progression with leg variations. Straddle up to straight, press firmly down as legs separate and come back together. Squeeze buttocks and legs firmly. The alignment of stacking hips over shoulders, wrists under shoulders is key to finding balance. Squeezing muscles onto bones through tightness is key to holding balance. ATB, alignment, tightness, balance. Kick switch handstands. Five lifts each leg, then switch in the air. Kick switches are a very safe way to practice handstands solo. Fold into pike, plant wrists under shoulders, hollow. Lift one leg, bend the opposite, find tippy toes, push off, elevating both legs. 
into an L shape. Take five wraps, work hips over shoulders and switch sides. Keep pointing through the toes to activate the legs. Full kick switch, push off alternate feet, switch placement in the air as feet come over hips. Five reps. Kick switches with balance. Continue switching positions of the legs in the air, working towards straight handstand. Fix one leg vertically and lift the other to join. Side splits. Focus on the leg over the head to find the balance. Option to increase arch and stag. Runner's lunge, working towards front splits. Stand on knees. Step foot through into a straight-legged position. Back knee under hip. Fingertips either side of knee. Tuck chin. Fold at hips. Reach chest towards leg and hold. Draw crown of the head and hips away from each other, increasing the hamstring stretch. Hold for three to five breaths. Inhale to rise, working deeper toward our front splits. Extend the front leg forward and back leg back. Find your maximum extension. Hold and breathe. Roll in toward the inner front leg to find straight splits. Use the breath to create space to support the discomfort to unravel. To exit, press through the fingertips and reverse the movement. Walking the fingertips back toward your body before tracking the knee under the hip. Second side. Step the foot under the knee and slide into the straight position. Hold and focus on the breath to create space to unravel any discomfort. Moving into full splits, lift up, walk the fingers forward, extend the front leg forward and the back leg away. Front split supports clear lines in our leg positions as a flyer. And for our bases, splits provide more flexibility to hold pike in our basing. Breathing in to exit, reversing the movement, bringing the knees under the hips. Side splits with side bend and pancake. Supports greater mobility across the coronal and sagittal planes. Sit in pike straddle, cross the left hand to the right hip crease. Circle the right hand up and over to the left side in line with the body. Gaze straight ahead or up. Sink right hip down, stabilizing the lower body. Option to hold on to the toe. Roll top rib cage up, supporting side plane alignment. Hold and focus on the breath. Reverse the movement to exit and flow to the other side. Side bend support the flyer to access one foot hold positions. As well as move more freely through the coronal side plane. Sink right hip down to stabilize the lower body. Reaching the upper arm over to mobilize the upper body. To exit. Reverse the movement once again. Straddle pike. Pancake. Sliding the hands down towards 
the ankles, option to stack one fist on top of the other and rest the forehead down or take hold of the ankles, softening the chest down to the ground. Pancake supports press handstand, fly in straddle tabletop, all pike straddle actions including star and straddle back. Coming out, reverse the movement to exit. Thread the needle, ITB stretch. Lie on your back, lift left ankle onto right knee. Thread right hand in between legs and interlock hands behind left knee. Press right knee away with elbow, pull left leg toward with hands. Switch. Hip opener and iliotibial band release. ITB runs along the outside of the thigh. Increases mobility and flexibility in the lower body in the coronal plane. Pigeon, another ITB stretch. From a kneeling position, slide the left leg back and the right knee forward. Create a 45 degree angle at the front knee and increase the angle in accordance to your mobility. Option to bring fists on top of each other to support your head or take hold of the front foot with the left hand to increase your stretch. Stay here, hold, and focus on the breath. Lift up to exit, pull weight through the hands and then switch legs. Find the correct angle for your range of movement with the front knee and continue to roll into the center and away from the outside of that front leg. Find the most comfortable hand position for you. To exit, lift up. Bring the back leg forward into cross-legged position, getting ready for alternate nasal breathing. Breathe out completely. Cover the right nostril with the right thumb. Breathe in through the left. Close the left nostril with the middle finger. Breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. Cover with the thumb. Breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Cover and breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. Cover, breathe out through the left. And bring the hand into the lap and breathe evenly and smoothly through both nostrils. Counting in for three and counting out for five. Sink into the sit bones and slowly open the eyes. Thanks so much for joining us. Like, subscribe, and see you next time.